Now today I want to talk about an NFT project that I have no clue how I missed this, but this project is called Stoner Cats, and I never heard about this until the botch drop. Sorry for the spoilers in case, I mean, I'm sure you probably know about it already, but so there was a botch drop of this project. I have no clue how I didn't, you know, hear about these guys before the botch drop, but these guys are called the Stoner Cats, and their website is pretty basic, but you know, there's all these big cats involved, but there's all these big cats involved, like the creator of Ethereum, uh, Mila Kunis, Cooney, whatever, I forget her name, but you know, the hot girl from a, a 70s show, Ashton Kutcher, Chris Rock, uh, some other girl. But basically this says, be a part of the magic, fund the content you want to watch. That's what we're doing at Stoner Cats. Purchase one of our collectible NFTs to watch the new series of animated shorts from Mila and Friends, or Mila, whatever. I don't know how I can't remember her name. She's so popular, but, uh, they're including the creative forces behind Toy Story 2, Spider-Verse, Happy Feet, Crypto Kitties, and much, much more. So I have no clue how I didn't hear about these guys. A, a very, very well-connected project. I can't believe there's so many big names involved. This is crazy because obviously we are seeing more and more celebrities and influencers getting into NFTs, but I was surprised to see like older actors get involved in a project like this, which honestly makes it even more surprising that these guys had a botched drop. It makes me think like, Maybe this is just a cash grab by these actors, you know? But anyways, I guess long story short, um, what happened with these guys is something went wrong in like the Ethereum smart contract maybe, and the devs had to work overtime to try to get it done, or like they had to re-randomize all the images or something like, you know, they're complaining about the struggle of generating art, which I know is super hard, I can't code, but like, it's not like they're hand drawing these things. But anyways, un unlike the Vagu Vogu robot collection that you still have time to go mint, it is minting at eight, uh, like six, a little bit less than 6,000 of those guys still have yet to mint. So definitely go check that out if you haven't already. I have a video I just made about that. Now, unlike the Animeta project, which also had a botch drop with the Animonkeys and gave like a ton back to their community for it being their fault, like they um, are giving away these Animetas to people that lost their money. So they're like really doing well over there with their botch drop. But these stoner cats, they're not giving anything. They just put up a post on the Discord, I guess, where they were just like, sorry guys, you know, it's gonna take another 24 hours, we messed up, you know, whatever. So it doesn't seem like they care too much. Like, they did seem apologetic, but at the same time, like clearly not going above and beyond to give back to the community. But so I believe the stoner cat drop is coming out tonight, so you still have a chance to snag one of these guys if you want. Uh, this is not financial advice, it's definitely a big risk, it's up to you. Could be pretty big because of all the big names involved, but at the same time, it also seems a little bit chilly, but you never know. It's always a toss in the air with these things. There obviously will probably be some hype in the short term because a lot of people will probably find out about it due to the box drop. So be sure to let me know what you think about this project. If you love it, hate it, are you gonna buy it? You know, how long have you been invested in it? Uh, let me know anything that I might've missed. So thank you very much for watching. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for all the newest NFT updates, news, all that stuff. You know I got you guys. So once again, I appreciate you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.